What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. My name is Brandon Lechuga and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. So as it says today, um, must-haves for a Tesla, especially if you live in a state that gets a lot of snow or rain. Um, this is one of the, I think, things you have to definitely have for your car. It's the car uh, floor mats and this was actually a pretty good deal on Amazon. So I'm gonna open them up really quick, take a look at them, uh, feel them. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, getting over a cold. Um, let you know what I think, and then we will install these into the Tesla and see how well they fit in the car. So I actually haven't opened it at all. I just uh, cut the tape. So we're gonna open these up and see how they feel. I have felt some floor mats before that just feel really cheap. Uh, one of the ones on the Bronco, the one that goes on the floor, Feels kind of cheap, but it works. And I'm pretty happy with it, but it feels cheap. And oh yeah, now these feel pretty nice. It feel pretty thick. Um, my biggest thing is I want to get them out of this box and let them kind of lay flat so they're not folded in half. So this is the driver's side. And again, I kind of want to try to get them opened and spread out so they're not all jacked up. And this looks like the passenger side. So here, we'll take a quick look, uh, kind of open it up and see what we see. Okay, so this is kind of like the material that's in the um, Bronco, the, the bed. So it's a little bit flexible, not super thick, but it feels pretty quality. And um, it looks like it's gonna cover a good portion of the car. So, uh, so this kit came with driver front, uh, passenger front, then it came, oh, here's a little thing showing you what it does and everything. So yeah, that's kind of the layout for the front, layout for the rear. And then the cool part is, is like this one right here. <coughs> this looks like it's the back seat. So why I picked these mainly is because as you can see, it's got a nice little lip to make sure it keeps all the stuff in. Like I said, this is a must have in Colorado, especially when you're renting out your car because the back seat and the front seats get so dirty. And one of the main reasons I bought this kit is because of this accessories right here. So this is pretty cool. Um, this goes in your trunk and then this one will go in, and it's nice that these are flat right now so I can kind of show you what it should look like. <laughs> this will go in your trunk underneath the um the trunk line because you know how you have the you lift up the lid and then you have a whole nother storage area this will go below that so again it's really nice and makes it super easy to clean so when i want to clean it all i'm gonna have to do is pick this up and it's pretty pretty firm shake it out put it back in and good to go so this will save a lot of cleaning time and again, even if you aren't doing Turo or a car rental thing or whatever, um, these would be a good thing to have, especially if you have kids, especially if you use your Model 3 for, again, a lot of activities. If you're going to the mountains, dirt roads, anything along those lines, um, this is a must have. So this is for the trunk and the trunk uh, lower storage area. And then the best part was it came with a full size uh, mat for the trunk completely so like i said this will cover the entire trunk area and like i said it looks pretty nice um it's all bent up right now like i said it's gonna have to get flat and once i get it flat i can install it in the car so the key with this is definitely take out your mats try to get them to lay flat and unfold it from the box so that's what we're gonna do Probably gonna let it sit like this for a day. Um, and again, this is a pretty good deal. I think this was like $160 for all of them. So you're getting two, two front seats, the whole rear, then you get um, the whole trunk, underneath the trunk, extra storage bin, and your front uh, uh, front area where you know they put the charger and everything like that. So that will stay clean too. Um, if someone puts some luggage or dirty boots or anything like that, you can put your dirty shoes there, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to let these kind of uh, open up and get a little bit more 
flat because they're like I said you can see they're all bent up and stuff right now so I'm gonna let those, um, <coughs> those do their thing and then we will install these all right so we have them installed um, <coughs> I am kicking myself for not investing in these a long time ago um, <coughs> these are actually really nice the fit is pretty much perfect uh, as you can see it's still dirty I need a vacuum and wipe down but all that dirt and stuff. Um, the front mat actually was this one. This is the driver's. And it's just taking a lot of abuse and mud and dirt. Um, the front mat fits absolutely perfect. Uh, the front is a little hard to close. I'm sure as many of you know. Oh, there we go. Um, so anyways, the driver's side fits absolutely perfect. Um, again, really upset that I waited so long to get it. The back, amazing fit, covers literally everything. And all the sides come up to where it holds all the water everywhere. Um, to install this one um, back here, you're gonna want to actually, uh, oops, sorry, there's a bunch of crap on that. You're gonna want to scoop out the seats forward, slide it under, uh, same thing with the front. When you do the front, push both seats forward or all the way back, and then you can install it. Um, again, it looks amazing, fits amazing. The rear fits amazing too. Um, again, it's gonna need a little time to get completely flat, but yeah, this um, fits really good. And then down here, there's the other mat. Fits really good. And then the passenger side fits amazing as well. Um, Completely covers the car, completely protects it, and keeps the water from getting, oh, excuse me, all over it. So this is definitely a must have. If you bought a Tesla and you live in Colorado or a state that snows, rains, anything like that, uh, this is an absolute must, must have. This is uh, night and day to my old floor mats. And to clean these out, <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Still sick. <laughs> um, to clean these out, it's gonna be easy. Pick up the bottom, pick up the top, fold them, shake them out, spray them down, put them back in. Super easy, super nice. Um, even, I bet I could get away with picking them up, shaking them out, putting them back in, spraying them down with uh, some of my cleaner, wipe them out with a rag, and they'll be good to go. So, again, crazy how well these fit. As you can see, the car is absolutely disgusting we've gotten a lot of snow so that being said um all this kind of crap gets drug into the car gets all over the car makes it disgusting and these new floor mats are going to be night and day with uh helping keep this clean so yeah let's see really quick how well the um mats actually wipe up I'm just trying to clean this a little bit. So I'll spray the um, spray right here. Cause those are dirty. All right, it's getting on the bottom. Let's see. Oh yeah, now these wipe up super easy. So any sort of thing you get on this, you can just wipe it up. That is so nice. But yeah, they get everything gets pretty dirty in this. So. Uh, yeah, those are really easy to wipe down and clean, so that's gonna be super nice. And yeah, that's um definitely worth the investment. So I'm gonna put the link for these in the video, um, or in the description of the video, I guess. But if you don't have any heavy duty floor mats, I would highly recommend getting these cheaper than Tesla. <coughs> Excuse me, and definitely looks like it's gonna work and I like how it goes partially up the sides and stuff so really great floor mats but um if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos to come and again definitely 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 worth the investment to make your interior last a lot longer so um thank you for watching 303 streets like subscribe and have a good day thank you